Now in general, a vasectomy reversal is a very low risk procedure. In about 2-3% to of cases, patients can end up with an infection. Uh, this typically occurs about 5-7 to seven days after surgery, and it usually causes an increase in pain or warmth, uh, redness or drainage. Now, anytime you're doing better and better for a few days after surgery, but then you start to do worse, uh, that's always a potential warning sign that you can have an infection. In those cases, you just text me after surgery and I'll call you in some antibiotics if there's any concerns. Another potential complication is a hematoma. Uh, that is a, a blood collection that occurs in the scrotum. It usually doesn't require any intervention, but it just uh, resolves over a few weeks to months. But it can definitely be very annoying, and it can cause pain uh, during the recovery period. Uh, the best way to limit or avoid hematomas is to avoid trauma to the area, and to avoid heating the area, uh, such as with hot packs, a hot tub, or sauna, or anything like that. Uh, the third possible complication is chronic pain. Now unfortunately, any time you operate anywhere in the body, uh, you can end up with chronic pain. Uh, if you did experience chronic pain after your vasectomy, you're definitely at an increased risk of getting chronic pain after this surgery as well.